Hi, in this video we will see a new feature in Azure AI, Books of Accounts, Transactions, Import. To do that, navigate to Import Books on the Assignment Landing page and then the new feature is, is added here, Books of Accounts, Transaction Excel. So what is the need for this feature to have been added into Azure AI? So if the client has Books of Accounts maintained in Tally or Zoho Books, it is just by way of JSON or a click of uh, Zoho Books to import all those uh, bookkeeping entries into Azure AI. If the client was not using Tally or Zoho Books, the earlier solution to bringing into Azure AI their accounts was the Trial Balance Excel. The Trial Balance Excel, however, allowed only the TV to be imported, that is only the ledger balances to be imported into Azure AI. Uh, this had a little bit of a shortcoming where some features could not be used in Azure AI like uh, aging analysis, ledger scrutiny, voucher analysis, etc. Because these were dependent on transactions and the tile balance Excel allowed only the ledger balances to be imported and not the transactions. To overcome the issue where transactions are not available, now the books of accounts transaction Excel has been created. Now this is the format, the template can be downloaded by clicking here. This is the format in which the sheet has to be filled in. So in addition to the cover, trial page and closing stock page, one additional sheet has been added which is the transaction sheets and these are the content that has to be filled into it. Now let us look at a sample filled sheet. So this is the sample transaction sheet that we have. Uh, let us go through the validations and understand the ground rules that are required for filling in this sheet. Now voucher date has to be in the format DD. M, M, M and 4 Ys. Voucher ID that is column B is a mandatory field. Voucher type, voucher number and voucher narration are not mandatory fields. If the data is not available for any transaction, they can even be left blank. However, one important validation here is that within a voucher ID, within a voucher ID, Voucher type, number and narration have to be same. So let us look at an example to understand what it is. So this is the voucher ID. It need not be necessary that the voucher number is same as the voucher ID. But it should be uniform and the voucher narration should be matching as well. So for all the legs of a transaction, debits and credits, the voucher type, voucher number and voucher narration must be uniform within a voucher ID. Of course the debit and the credit has to match. Now moving on to the next column which is the ledger name. Now for a ledger name to be present in the transaction sheet, the ledger has to be introduced in the trial balance sheet first. If a ledger is not present in the trial balance sheet, there will be a validation error and the transactions are not allowed to be part of a ledger that is not there in the trial balance. Now to un uh, allow all the transactions to be a part of the sheet, trial balance sheet has been updated to allow zero balance uh, ledgers also. Earlier we were not allowing uh, zero balance ledgers. Now zero balance ledgers are also allowed. So the transaction pertaining to these ledgers can also be brought into Azure AI. Uh, the next is the amount debit and amount credit column. Some of all debits and some of all credits have to match. Now. <clears throat> The validation that is done by Azure AI is, at, is in a tiered manner. The first level of checks will be done on the trial balance sheet and assume there are some errors in terms of the stock ledger not being marked or the debit and the credit not matching or the level of groups not being identified correctly. If there are any errors, there will be a validation error and the import will be failed by Azure AI. However, assuming in the trial balance sheet, transaction sheet also has errors. The first round of uh, validation will be done only on the trial balance. Once those errors are rectified and the <clears throat> and the trans uh, the sheet is uploaded again into the system, if the now the validations will be performed on the transaction sheet. If the transaction sheet has any errors, that error is also a tiered way of validating. First, the ledgers will be validated. That is to see if all the ledgers are available in trial balance. Only then the third round of checking will be at the voucher level. So this manner, tiered manner of verification is done by Azure AI and each time when the import happens, if there is any error at any level, the validation will be failed and the import will also be failed. So finally, the user needs to upload the corrected version into the system. So if a, a sheet with an error uh, in it has been uploaded, the upload will be failed and an error report will be given to the user to correct the errors. If the, <coughs> the validations are all passed and there is no error in the sheet, the upload will become a success 
and there won't be any more uh, error sheets to download from. Thank you.